Taxi Vlog 355. It is now the 30th of April, and if my voice sounds rough, it's because it is. What happened to me, now it's Thursday, it was Saturday night, and for a couple of weeks before that Saturday night, I was experiencing a little bit of post-nasal drip, but nothing to worry about. You know, I'd have a couple sneezes and it would be gone. But when we went to Walmart the other night, on Saturday night, to get groceries, as soon as I set foot in Walmart, my nose started making like a waterfall. And it was right down there by the the soaps and things as you come in the door soaps and cosmetics and stuff is off to the right and uh, it's made for uh, for quite an entertaining week I'm carrying Kleenex in the car with me for the first time in uh, in a long time just because I never know when my nose will get runny again I have taken some Benadryl to help it, and I think I may have forgotten the damn stuff at home. I hope not. Oh, oh I got it. I got it. I can see it. I, bought the, I brought the little thing of Benadryl, so in about four or five hours I might need another one. But I don't want to take more than one Benadryl, because that would make me, I think, too sleepy to drive uh, safely. So just one sort of dries out dries out the uh, sinuses enough. Anyway, let's get on to business. Excuse me a moment. That's pretty much dried out for now. Good. Okay. So maybe I'll be able to finish this vlog without having to blow my nose again. Uh, Monday and Tuesday both were slow to come out. I watched a lot of videos. I watched everyone's videos that I'm subscribed to, and I, I watched uh, a bunch of videos that uh, were on, on my to watch later list. I've seen them all, but I put another one on today, so I have one hour video left to watch. I'll be finishing that. Well, chances are it won't take too long to watch that one hour video because it may be quiet now. Um, so both of those nights started slow and they got steady and they were steady on after midnight and uh, ended up to the point where I had lots of interact and not all that much cash um, the only reason I'll be able to pay the rent this month is because of the overs I had from last week because I had to dip into my uh, rent money to go get groceries if that makes any sense now I can't taste anything. I, you know, I, there's no use in, in, in drinking really good and expensive whiskey because I can't taste the damn stuff. I'm drinking the cheap shit right now because, you know, I still get my dram or two a day or three, but I don't, I don't taste it. I don't smell it. I don't taste it. And both of those nights, the Monday and Tuesday, turned out really good in the end because I went to the airport at the end of the shift, each of those. Each one, uh, a $50 trip, or in one case it was $60. And they paid cash on that one. That was the one uh, Wednesday morning after the Tuesday night. So Monday and Tuesday were a nice start to the week, even though a lot of it's interact. And I won't see the money for another two or three weeks because the owner of the car is going away uh, on a road trip, he's going to be gone for two Tuesdays, so not the Tuesday or the Tuesday after that, but the Tuesday after that, I'll get my money for for all the overs that I have for the, the next couple weeks, and that means that um, that will go straight to the rent, um, and whatever cash I can make on top of that, maybe that will pay for the groceries, um, we got to get groceries again couple weeks from now I'm already thinking ahead you know of the month I got a chiropractor bill to pay on Tuesday and I need another hundred dollars for that 
And then I'm going to need a few bucks to take Cindy out for dinner. And we'll do that. Hopefully I'll have make enough tonight and tomorrow night in cash. A lot of people have been paying with Interax lately. So that's why the Interact count is so high. Well, uh, last night I came out, it was slow, my luck was bad. It didn't get much happening there. I, at one point I fell asleep and it had been like three hours between trips. I had finished watching uh, videos and I started reading my book, but, you know, as soon as I read about two pages, I was reading the same line over and over again. Uh, maybe after watching videos for seven or eight hours, it's like uh, my eyes get too tired to focus on the page and to read and stuff like that. The only thing memorable this week was on uh, Tuesday night, I got sent to one of those high-rise apartment buildings and there's some benches up front and there was this guy tweaking and he had a whole bunch of groceries and and his jacket was right there and he had a backpack with with stuff in it whatever and he was tweaking he was like like you know tweaking I don't know how you can you know bad drugs crack you know whatever that's what I'm thinking it is and it took a while to get him loaded in the car because he had a bicycle too and and we folded the seat down and I figured well if the guy could buy groceries and he had quite a few he's got to have some money on him turns out he didn't have any money on him and uh, he had, when we got to the destination he went inside the house to get the money from his mother to pay for the cab and then he told me when he came back out of the house, she said she didn't believe I took a taxi, is what he told me. And I said, so what? Look, I've got no time to waste with you. I, I already unloaded all this stuff onto the sidewalk and, uh, and drove away. It was only nine bucks. And that's okay. I can eat the nine bucks as long as I don't have to deal with, you know, people who are spazzing and people who are tweaking. Just getting him away from me was the best I could do. And you know, after dealing with that one fuck up, all the other people in the night were great. And my luck was good and affairs were good. So sometimes, you know, you gotta break the ice with an asshole so that you get good stuff after that. It's just weird how things work in this business. Anyways, um, this is the last day of the month, the end of April. I'm going to park here and watch a video. And maybe I'll get an opportunity to do so. I'm fourth in the zone. Maybe not. Hold on, let me get an update on that. I was fourth in the zone when I booked it. I'm now second in the zone. Ooh, moving on up. Well, I'll tell you about the rest of the week later. Probably next month. In May. My gosh. Well, it's Friday. <clears throat> it's Friday, and it's 7.20 p.m. I'm off to a late start. This is my first trip, and I just got in the car and got a call already. So I'll have just enough time to tell you what happened on Thursday night. Started off quietly but it gained momentum until I had my lease and fuel and a few more dollars by 11 o'clock. So then I sat in the parking lot and started reading my book and after about half an hour of that I took a little nap and I slept for an hour and I woke up again and I hadn't had a call yet so I just thought I'd keep reading my book a little more and after another half hour that's two hours without any business I got another call so I went to the address and I called the phone number and there was no answer just an answering machine I waited five minutes and called the number again and I told them yeah it's a taxi I'm right outside 
He says, yeah, I'll be right out. <clears throat> Ten minutes later, the house was still dark. No door had opened up. I was still sitting there. People had uh, come out of the neighboring house and were smoking something. And uh, some boys walked by. So I don't know which one. Maybe they called and were having a prank. And they just wanted to uh, see if I would sit there or they wanted to laugh at me. I don't know what. But it kind of hurts after not having any business for a couple hours. So I went back to the parking lot, waited again, waited another hour for my next call. Or was it an hour and a half? Anyway, it was a while. I got a bit of reading done. I did doze off once or twice. So I got some more business. And the fare was about a $10 fare. I got like $14 for it. The guy was really drunk, really hooped young guy could barely understand what he was saying because he was that drunk but he was happy with where I took him or where he wanted to go and he gladly paid and tipped and that all worked out and so the rest of the night after that I guess it was between three and six o'clock I did a little more business it sort of trickled in and uh, I got enough together to pay my chiropractor. And I have a little more so I can put gas in my car when it's empty and I need a little more tonight so I can take Cindy for dinner. Then next week we'll work on the income tax I owe, which I was planning to do this week but it just didn't work out that way because we had a lot of interact. I'm, my lease is almost paid for the week. I think I need another $50, so hopefully I'll get $50 of Interac and much more in cash. Well, that's wishful thinking, isn't it? Anyway, I got to pick up these old people here. I'm pretty sure they're going to the Legion Hall to go dancing on Friday night. Anyway, um, I'll give you an update in the, in the morning about ten hours from now. Let you know how tonight went. For a Friday night this was kind of a roller coaster ride. I got a late start. I think I mentioned that already. And I got my first call right away. And it was taking some old folks to the theater downtown. They were going to see a concert. And after I dropped them off, I got back to my part of town. And I waited about 45 minutes for a call. And uh, me and this other cabbie were sitting in the parking lot. And we both got the call at the same time. It was a two-car order. Uh, and we were both sent on it. And after we had driven about a block, um, I was canceled, but he was still going. So, I went back to the parking lot and waited. I waited about an hour. I was first in zone the, or, the, the whole time. And then I got sent to the Walmart, which was just a block away. And at Walmart, it was another two-car order. And the other car got there before me, and so he was loading first. And there was no passenger for me to take after that. So, and they put me last in zone. I was first when I got the call. Now that's adding injury to insult because I was already first in zone and now I had to work my way up from fifth again. So I called our office, I said, what's going on? What's the matter, you know, you're putting me last in zone when I was first in zone when I got the call and I got held up and you canceled me on the other one. 
Are you going to give me a trip or what? This is no way to run a business. And you know what the answer was to me? Not my problem. And I didn't know what to say. He just said, not my problem. Just like that. Well, I was livid. I felt like going down to the office and ripping her head off. First she fucked me over and wasted my time, but then I got another fare. Anyway, I got started just after 7. I think it was 9.30 before things... I had two fares on by 9.30, and then things started to move. But nobody moved very far, and nobody moved very fast. People were taking their sweet time coming out of wherever they were to come out to the car. When they finally did, And uh, the tips were not all that shit hot. And people were just bizarre, strange. It died off at about 2 o'clock, 2.30. And I had some more fares. A couple of them, anyway. Had a two-car order again from Denny's. Of course, the other car got the longer half, and I got the shorter one. And uh, I had a couple more. I was rejecting a lot of calls because they were going, they were far away from where I was, and I didn't really feel like doing them all. I didn't feel like retracing my steps and going back just so I could pick up a fare that wasn't going very far. This one here, I dropped off somebody in a Squamalt and then I crossed back into zone 64 and I was being sent back to a Squamalt and I, I just rejected that. And then I drove another block or two into Zone 64, and I got sent to a motel. At that motel, there was a customer, and she had a dog. But you know, even though I'm allergic to dogs, I took it because, I don't know, I had a feeling about this chair. And I had been popping Benadryl all week anyway because I'm allergic to some kind of pollen or tree or something that's flowering this time of year. I may have mentioned that earlier in the vlog as well. But I am feeling a little better today. And my nose is just a little bit sniffy because of the doggy that was in here. Anyways, I took that woman and her dog. She wanted to go to uh, McDonald's to get something to eat through the drive through and uh, that was the thing that was open. I mean, uh, the other places were closed that were nearby, and uh, she wanted to get something to eat, so she got her McDonald's breakfast, and then she wanted to go to way up in the highlands. Now, I'm coming down from the highlands right now. I was way up at the very top, and I'd been to that house before at some some rich guy has this acreage up there and uh, looks like uh, he had a call girl visiting him uh, and she's the call girl I took up there with her doggy and everything so uh, I got fifty dollars for doing it and I needed that fifty dollars bad now it's five in the morning and I just broke over three, which for a Friday is still pretty rotten. I had a rotten night all told. It was so hard to make money this night. Everything was fucked up. I think it's because it was the first of, first of the month 
and people just paid their rent so they got no money or they just moved and they paid the movers so they're not paying cabbies anything they just paid their rent and paid to move and got no money left so first of May here we are actually you know it's a funny thing it's exactly eight years since uh, Cindy and I moved into the place where we live now eight years of living together <laughs> anyway the night is done I figure I should be happy that I've got enough money to pay for taking Cindy to dinner and a couple other things and I'm gonna go back into town and wash the car and vacuum out the dog hair stuff like that. I wonder why it is that I feel like having a cigarette right now. It's not like I had sex or anything. I just feel you know, kind of in that mood where, yeah, I want to park it and be done. Anyway, now that we've come down to Langford from the Highlands, I hope yours is better than mine.